one, his passive aggressive communication style. 남자친구로서 부럽네요. <laughs> the Hyogi dilemma is that despite his struggles seem very reasonable, and I really empathize with him, I do. But the way he talks. <laughs> 아니 그냥 나도 좋아하는데 너랑 못 먹었잖아 너안 좋아해서 Just make you so angry that you don't want him to win Imagine if your boyfriend or girlfriend compares you with other people as a way of complaint 데이트를 하면서 그걸 느꼈어 내가 너한테 서운했던 부분들 아까 혜연이 누나가 막 챙겨줬는데 누가 안 그렇게 챙겨준 적이 많이 없으니까 당황이 엄청 해가지고 계속 묘자 쓰고 아래 그냥 처음 보시면서 엄청 환하게 웃고 계셨거든? 근데 나를 보면서 너는 맨날 짜증내 섞인 표정으로 나한테 화내잖아. <웃음> Blames you and acts as the victim. 그러니까 평소에도 너 남사친을 연락하는데 왜 나는 여사친을 연락하면 안 돼? 그리고 항상 제가 아플 때마다 윤슬이는 같이 가준 적이 없어요. And pushes your buttons for God knows why. 귀여워 보여서 귀엽다 했어. I support Hyogi for speaking up for his dissatisfactions, but he's attacking communications that will put anyone off, let alone resolving any issues. Number two, he always cuts Yunsu off. <laughs> Number three, holding grudges. This is Hyogi and Yunsu's biggest personality clash. Yunsu tends to forgive and forget, and Hyogi tends to hold grudges. 그러니까 옛날 얘기가 아니잖아. 그러면 지금도 싫으면 그게 지금 얘기잖아. 나는. Well, there's nothing wrong with the differences, but the way Hyogi brings these issues up at the wrong time and even in front of other people is not helpful. 알아야 되는 얘기는 하지 말자. Not to mention that Yunsu had repetitively said in the show that she doesn't want Hyogi to bring up the past. 진짜 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 너무 싫은 거 하나 있어. Hence, adding even more frictions to their conversations. Number four, overgiving. Okay, I know this one is controversial. Personally, for me, I agree with Hyogi to call his efforts a sacrifice, and I think Yunsu should show more affection, appreciation, and not take him for granted. I know some people will disagree, so feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments for further discussions. So, what is the problem? Because Hyogi ultimately builds resentment and blames Yunsu for what ultimately is his own actions. I know it sounds very very cruel and maybe victim blaming. I'm saying this out of my best intentions because trust me, I share the same problem. I think it would be better that if he can draw some boundary with Yunsu and say no when he doesn't want to and take responsibility for his own decisions and actions instead of victimizing and playing the victim mindset. Number five, the you have to change mindset. This problem is shared between Hyogi and Yunsu because they've both said that if the other person doesn't change, they are going to break up. This mindset traps them in this negative cycle of attacking and defending, prevents them from listening to each other and looking within to see how they themselves have contributed to the negativity of the relationship. Uh, how about Yunsu? Okay, of course I'm not saying that Yunsu is perfect, right? Like to be honest, Yunsu gets cut off so frequently, we really haven't heard much from Yunsu's perspective. I hope to hear more from Yunsu, her perspective of the relationship and her complaints about Hyogi. That's it, you agree, right? Okay, you agree. Good. Bye. <laughs>